Welcome to the spiritual vault. I am Munam, aka Nikki Love, your African Indigenous traditional healer. And I'm Brother Dinkra, your African Indigenous traditional healer. How y'all doing tonight, family? I know all is well. <laughs> I know all is well. Y'all probably like, why y'all coming on so late? And you know what? We are guilty for not coming on here. I don't know. Presence has been lost for years. I need to get my stuff back together, y'all. So, you know, we're coming on here every night. Every night, if I gotta come up for 30 seconds, if I gotta go 15 seconds, we coming on here, okay? Because you know what? I miss my family. I really do miss y'all. I know all is well. We are kind of late tonight, but you know, every month we do monthly predictions. So, we are here to do our monthly predictions. How y'all been? How's everybody? First of all, let's do a roll call. We got Amber Smith. We got, let me see. All right, y'all. So, um, we're gonna do predictions tonight, okay? Yeah. It's in many blessings. Tonyo Flow, what you laughing at? Why you got a smiley face up there, Tonyo Flow? Right? All right, y'all. So, okay, I'm going to let Brother Dinko start since he got his stuff ready. So, you know, he, you know, do his little card. And he's the reason why we on here late. He's the reason. No, it's not. You yes, it downstairs. is. No, nope. when I came upstairs, upstairs they said, we're going to start at 1130. You got on Guess the computer. Guess what? I said, you ready? He was like, no, I'm not ready yet. Yeah, I wasn't ready then, but I'm just saying. You, you, that don't stop us from starting when I'm not ready? You'd be like, come on, let's go. So I, no, you, you, but it's you your still fault. Over there. It's all your fault. It's all your fault. Anyways... See that moon? Let's talk about the moon first. Let's talk about... Because it's going to tie into what you... You understand? I got you. Okay. Or do you want me to read first so that way to see if yours ties into mine? What you want me to do? We could talk about the moon first. All right. So did y'all? Okay. Talk about the moon. Talk about the moon. You want? Hey, you brother. Talk, how I you doing? I wanted to see what you was gonna say. All right. So did y'all see that full moon we had last week? Right? Did y'all see that full moon? Hey, Tiffany. How you doing? Now. Hey, Deborah. How you doing? I want to tell y'all this. If you seen the full moon last week, you must know that that full moon represented something for the human being, okay? Uh -huh. For the human being. Now, what I want y'all to know is that that full moon is responsible for us going through a physical transformation. Now, we have a physical transformation and then we have the spiritual transformation, okay? Um, so you got to know that the spirits is, is transforming too. As we get stronger spiritually, they are getting stronger spiritually. Okay. Yeah. Also, I, I feel like the energy the energy was so powerful from the moon. It's almost like um, to me it, it had like a sun type energy to it, and it, it, to me it was representing more of a uh, everything is going to be clear. Everything is uh, about to change. And it also represented, a, 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 um, let's say, a more exposure for people doing stuff in the dark. Things are finna come more to the light. And what I mean by that, people that have been getting away with a lot of things that nobody knows about, all of that's finna be exposed. As soon as you do it, you're gonna get exposed. So basically what you're saying is that karma is about to hit them as quick as the speed of light. Yeah, quick as the speed of light. Have y'all noticed that? Have y'all noticed that, family? Now listen to me. People, I hope, I hope for your sake you ain't do nothing wrong. I hope you ain't do nothing wrong because if you did something wrong, you better expect your karma to come whoop your asses. And don't say I didn't tell y'all so, okay? Mm -hmm. Even, I notice, even with like um, crime and stuff like that, just people doing things that they have no business doing. That, that it's like they're getting, you know, some, it would take like two or three months, or a couple of weeks for people to get caught. It's like they're catching them the next day. That's right. You know? People running around shooting people. They catching them the next day. <laughs> they out. They and they trying to figure out why, how they got caught because they were wearing masks. You dummies. They got the, the. Why you think they had everybody wearing masks so they could make sure this uh, new technology they got this facial recognition that they got all around the United States works. <laughs> so wait, 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 wait. I'm not getting that. So if they have a mask on, right? Uh -huh. How are they going to recognize their faces? Because they have facial recognition that can identify your your uh, your body just by your key points of so your cheekbone, your nose, and up here in your oh, eyes. Oh, okay. And then, so some people got cheekbones the same. Like yeah, but they can they can the the they've seen enough people walking without their uh, mask on 
and then it, it you know all of these computers share and talk to each other and they analyze and, and they yeah. and, you know they work together and they can tell you who okay. is who even if you got a mask on and it they, they got technology that can remove that mask like it'll show you what you look like without that mask on well, so that's why a lot of people are getting they're doing these crimes with these masks on and they're still getting caught well, they shouldn't be goddamn stealing anyway. If you're stealing and doing no, I'm a talking about shit, like a lot of people are committing murders with masks on. And well, they, they shouldn't they be find, doing murders they either. Caught. No, they shouldn't be committing murders either. At the end of the day, if you are doing anything unrighteous like that, you need to be careful. Because like we said, the speed of light, y'all know how quick the speed of light is. You know how fast it is, right? Y'all know how fast it is, right? That's how hard you're getting. That's how quick and fast you're getting hit with karma, okay? Mm -hmm. Don't. Don't get caught by the speed of light and by that karma. So you better do what's righteous, okay? Now, we're saying that if everybody's seen the full moon, that moon is also taking us to the next dimension, okay? That means we are transforming to prepare to go to the next dimension. So if you're in the fifth dimension, we're going to the sixth dimension, okay? Some people are still in the third dimension. The spiritual ones, we're going to the sixth dimension. So pretty much what's happening is that moon is responsible for helping us go through that transformation, okay? Spirit say it's time to elevate. Time to elevate. That's right. That's it's right. time to elevate. Okay. All right, family. So now we're saying that. Let me see. Um, Obadele says they have that technology in some Walmarts in the self-checkout. You ain't never lying. I be looking up smiling. Hey, how you doing? And guess what? YouTube got the YouTube got uh, facial recognition. Uh... Facebook, you know, Facebook always had it. You know, they part of the, well, I ain't going to say, they're part of a government agency also. Yeah, the, so, the, the way, excuse my language, y'all. The way shit is going, okay? Every, every, Everything. Your face, your phone, you can open your phone. You know what I mean? I mean, we are evolving into a more technological age, okay? And nothing new is under the sun. Everything's just coming back that was in ancient times, right? So nothing new is under the sun. I'm not surprised. It's just that there's so much conspiracy theory about how it's being done and what they're doing. People get panicky. I mean, they see your face every day. Who the hell cares? I mean, it is what it is. You open your phone with your face. You don't think that's attached to, you know what I mean? <laughs> World computers it is what it is. Uh, my thing is just don't do no shit you ain't got no business doing and you're going to be all right. You'll be just fine. Mm -hmm. Okay? So not only that now, because everything is uh, based on computers, phones, and technology, there's a lot of um, data mining going on and a lot of, um, let's just say, forensic filing. Like people going back and they can go back and uh, check out anything you've done through the computer now. So, you know. It is what it is, family. My thing, but don't be all scared. Because, you know, some people get real panic. Oh, I, don't, I, ain't doing, I ain't doing this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Don't. that. Don't start panicking. You know what I mean? If you Live doing, your life. Right, live life, because if you're doing what's right, you're going to have right in your life, most of the time anyway, okay? All right, brother, thank you. So what you got for us? Now, y'all know when we do predictions, monthly predictions, we tell you what we see for the month. So we're going to tell you what we see for the month. Hey, Majestic Rod, know all is well. We're going to tell you what we see for the month of June. So if y'all want to get a pen and paper and write this down so you can keep track of what we see, you know, what predictions we give y'all, y'all need to do that. <laughs> What's so fun? Nothing, nothing. You know this this month is is gonna be um, it's gonna be interesting. You know if if you have a uh, if you're one of these people that have tempers, it's gonna be it could be a, it could end up being a draining month for you because what I see is is like she said the moon the the energy that the moon was giving off is gonna tie into most, what's gonna go on this month. And what's gonna go on this month? What I kept seeing is a lot of um, a lot of up and down, a lot of emotions, and a lot of fiery energy. So <clears throat> this is the type. Of, this is the month that uh, people like that have to, you know, think about what they're gonna say because you can get you can get a reaction that you that you wasn't expecting, or that those reactions could lead to problems for you, you know, in the future. So. Um, I kept getting a lot, when I pulled the cards, I kept getting a lot of cups, and I kept getting the wands, you know, and the wand is represent, or the wands represent the fire element, that's mostly what I got, so, um, 
you know, so it was talking about what what I the first card I got was a, a wand of uh, the wand of page, the page of wands, and it was saying that you know it, it represented um, people needing to be more balanced, but it also talked about a, a uncertainty of certain things, uncertainty and delays with things people want. Of the energy that's being presented to us from that energy from the moon and the transformation that's taking place on the whole earth, okay? So he's on point with that, with the cards. you got to control it. Um, you know, many different things happen as your body goes through a transformation. And one of the things is, you know, emotional, you know, emotional distress, okay? So be very, very mindful to keep yourself relaxed. If you got to do some kava kava, which is a natural herb that relaxes you, burn some lavender, whatever you got to do, keep yourself relaxed, okay? <laughs> All right, brother, I think we'll go ahead. Um, also, the second card that I got was the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands is a representation of, of new beginnings, but what, what I was picking up too it's also it was it was showing me the energy of uh, dealing with relationship and love. So <clears throat> it's it, it's almost like the Ace of One also represents like new beginnings and um, new beginnings and uh, creating new things also. So what I was getting also what Spirit was showing me was with the with the with the love situation is it could be 50-50 on um, um, having a new relationship or ending your relationship. Because of the, the the energy that the moon is presenting to the planet, and then people's emotions are going to be up and down, up and down. But they're also going to be fiery. So they could be fiery in a good way, or they can be fiery in a bad way. The good way is you can meet somebody and fall in love and have just have a passionate relationship, you know. And then the bad the, the bad way that it could be fiery is you could be in a relationship. And then it's so fiery that you're going back and forth and arguing that it causes a split between you. So just like I say, again, be mindful of the energy that we're in because it's presenting itself real strong this month. Okay, that's the love aspect, uh, mm -hmm. aspect of it. As far as the love aspect of it goes, you know, family, this is a test. What Spirit has shown me, this is going to be a test. For many of you that out there that are together and that are soulmates and that are, you know, being put together, you're being tested, okay? So pay attention because as well as this is a new beginning, this is also going to be a test for, you, for human for humanity when it comes to one ships, as I call them, and you're going to be tested, okay? If you fail the test, then the universe and the ancestors are going to take it apart. If you pass the test, the universe and essence is going to bring it together and make it more stronger. Because right now, because this new beginning is taking place, it's very, very important that those who have a spiritual journey or a calling embark on that journey. And if they don't embark on that journey, if they're with a mate that is on the same spiritual journey as they are, and they don't embark on that journey, and they do not get it together, the essence is going to take it apart. If they got it together and they passed this test of understanding what's getting ready to take place with the new beginnings and the importance of not letting the emotional aspects of this energy affect what you have going on or outsiders or whatever it may be. Because y'all do get people that hate on and pray on and run ships and want to break you up and do all <laughs> kind of stuff. Trust me when I tell you. So you have to be strong, okay? Be strong emotionally, okay? And when it comes to your one ships, try not to let arguments get out of hand because that's the part of the test. If you let them get out of hand, answers is removing it quick and fast. If you are strong enough and you can embrace this energy and understand the new beginning that is taking place with your one ship, then you'll be fine. My recommendation is anybody who is in a one ship, go to your ancestors together. Hold your mate's hand, woman or man. Ask the ancestors to guide and protect your one ship no matter what. Understand? And you both ask that you have the strength for you to go through this test or transformation with this one, one ship together. Okay? That's what I recommend. And that's what I see. And also, to, to, you know, to, um, to talk, you know, to talk about that just for one second more. It just said, you know, concentrate... You know, spirits say concentrate on moving your energy forward towards the uh, whatever you have, whatever endeavors that you're working on, or what whatever things that you're working on 
projects or whatever that you got in mind and starting your new beginning. Whatever is new to you, just keep putting your energy on that. As long as it's positive, put your energy in that and you'll be okay. Also, I did see that uh, this could be a month for uh, people to make babies, so be careful with that. That love aspect. <laughs> mm, yeah. Be careful. So I, I, you know, I see uh, birth, could, birth, and uh, uh, women. You know, women could uh, become pregnant also this month. So a month for people to uh, keep focusing on, keep grinding, keep opening up, the, keep opening up new businesses, and keep focusing on. If you have opened up a new business, keep keep moving forward with that. Um, this is going to be a good month for prosperity also. Um, and just continue to um, continue to push forward with the things that you're working on. As for, and also, um, like I said, the emotional part. Just try to handle everything at work and, and with your new company or whatever it is that you're doing. Just try, try, try to handle everything with ease. I just see it's just... Like I'm telling you, the, the the emotional part of this month is gonna be real heavy. All right, what was that? Financials. Yeah, finances. 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 All right, family. Um, it's also important to get serious about your finances. Okay, what Spirit is showing me is that you have to start really taking responsibility for your finances if you want to be financially stable. Okay, it's very important if you want to be financially stable. Get serious about your money, okay? That means cutting back on certain things to make investments, making righteous investments, making investments that is going to benefit your family in the long run, okay? So, Spirit is saying with the finances, be mindful, be responsible. This month, get, because it is a new beginning, start thinking about money in a different way. You know, before we always got, oh, well, you know, I'm not this good and this is not good and I don't have this, I'm broke. Stop putting out the negative energy about money and put out the positive energy about money and stop saying I'm broke. Stop saying I don't have. Stop doing all that because this is a new beginning. Again, based off of that moon now with this month of June, it's a new beginning for these things to change in your life permanently. This transformation is a major transformation, so you don't want to, you know, Keep saying and bringing negative energy from the past. No, you're not broke. If you, uh, excuse me, if you got a penny, you're not broke. If you got a dollar, you're not broke. Stop saying that. Because what you're doing, again, remember, you're going through the transformation. Your ability to speak it, anything out into the universe is going to be ten times to the tenth power more <laughs> powerful. So if you say you're going to be broke, guess what? You're going to be broke. Don't do it in this energy, I'm telling y'all. Just Do took, not. Huh? You just took what I was going to say next. The Ashe. I was going to talk about the Ashe and be mindful of your time. Oh, I ain't take it. That's that connection. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, you get on the nerves. That's that connection. All right, y'all. So, with saying that, the mouthpiece, be careful. Yeah, so, also, um, like she said, just, just focus on not bringing up the past and keep focusing on the future and spirit just say this is a month for success 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 so if you're focusing on that you will be successful but you have to put your plans into action to gain the success that you want mm -hmm. all right so th before we go on let's ask let's ask some questions Yo, oh oh, oh we'll, some we'll, questions. we'll get into that in a minute because i got to tell you all about the weather but okay so majestic ross said hey hey mocha brown Hey, sis. Um, Majestic Ross says, what if you want to get rid of your relationship? If you want to get rid of your relationship, just be honest. Be honest. That's it. Be honest. I don't want to be in this relationship no more. Be honest. That's the best thing to do. Sit your girlfriend down and tell her, look, I'm not feeling it no more. I'm going my separate way. I want to go our separate way. And y'all figure it out. Just hope you ain't messing with a psycho. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I hope y'all don't. I hope y'all don't live together. <laughs> Cause you never know how people are gonna uh, take yeah. that. You know right. what I'm saying? Some people may be all in love with you, and then you tell them you're not feeling them no more. They may react a certain way. Well, you know the little boy rapper just killed himself because his girlfriend broke up with him, though, right? Yeah. That's a good topic. We need to talk about that because when you have 
that level of, of a, a level of emotions being displayed where you kill yourself. Because, you know what I mean? I don't know about that, y'all. I'm not feeling that. I'm not feeling that at all. And that's something we probably, black people, we need to do better at talking to our children. We need to have more conversations with our children. We need to stop focusing on, and I'm putting this out there now because this is something we need to understand. We focus on everything else, ourselves, each other, this, that, this, that, and we're not paying attention to our children. You listen to your children and you talk to your children, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you heard about that, right? Yeah, uh, I don't know. I just, I just wonder where, where were the people that were, like what, what about the people that were around him that was enjoying some of his success? They weren't talking to him and and, and trying to uh, make sure he did the right thing. Who? Like, like the the rapper that killed okay. himself. Like a lot of times, sometimes people we be so into our own lives that we don't pay attention to the people that we really truly love or the people that are around us, and then you don't even realize that they may be in a depressed state, right. you know, and right. you, and sometimes it's so, it's okay for another man to ask another man, are you okay, are you all right, you doing all right? Sometimes we get, we get these, these um, men, some, some men tend to think that's unmanly to ask a man, is he all right? Sometimes that may be something that, that may be what saves this person's life. Wow. Yeah, it's now it's a little loaded. I'm going to, I'm going to tell you like this, be very careful, don't go. And cheat on that girl before you break up. Be honest, okay? Because Spirit keeps showing me there's another girl you've been talking to. <laughs> Spirit been showing me. It's showing me that. And, and if I'm lying, tell me I'm lying. But you, let me tell you, you don't want no karma. You don't want to have no problems and no repercussions. Be honest with the girl. Break up with her first and then you go. And with the other girl. But don't do that. I'm telling you what I know. Because you don't want that woman energy to come shut you all the way down. Yeah. And uh, y'all, I'll say this. Y'all laugh and joke about this stuff. But um, it's certain parts <laughs> in Africa where, you know, men do stuff like this. And the woman may, they think it's okay because the woman is a God-fearing woman. She's a church woman. But... You know, that feminine energy is so strong that she may be so connected. She may love this man so much and, and be so into him that when he breaks her heart and she starts crying, the energy that she's giving off could actually cause him to get in an accident. It could even cause death. I've seen these things take place in Africa where a woman was so heartbroken that her, man, her husband had left that her. That happened right here. That ain't just in Africa. He died. Right here in, the in, energy in, of her killed the man. Of her, her sorrow her, killed the man. Look, but, and it, but look, brother, this is David, it's just not sorrow. Because I seen it where that man disrespected that woman. And she would say, this is going to happen to you. And then it would happen. He would die or something will happen. Ain't nothing good going to happen for you. And then guess what? It will happen. So this is not in Africa. This is some of our women here that got that same powerful ashe. So... You be careful, because if she says, oh, you want to break up with me? You talking to another chick? Oh, I got something for you. Ain't nothing good going to happen for you. Your life is going to go to shit. All of this going to happen. Watch how quick it's going to happen. The best the best uh, scenario I can give you, or example I can give you, is what Umar Johnson said. <laughs> Umar Johnson said, you be messing with these women, and you don't know these women are a child, or oh, yeah, or yeah, me, yeah, they got these spirits walking with them. And then you do something to him, and then you start having all kind of problems. She don't even have to know about spirituality. It'll come, those that energy will start hitting you. So, you know, I say take heed with that. Lessons, Neosha, how are you? Yep. So, yes, be careful, Majestic Rock, because I see this other chick you're talking to, and you better be righteous and do what's right. He said, he said, no, he ain't talking to no other chick. Uh, Majestic Rock? That man might have his woman on here. You putting him on blast. <laughs> oh, well, you shouldn't be talking your business on social media. Oh, That's not my goddamn problem. If you don't want it out there, then don't put it up on social media, okay? And y'all be careful with lying to spiritual, certain uh, people that do spiritual work because y'all got to remember, spirit is always listening. Lanisha, hey, Lanisha. <laughs> hey, Lanisha, how you doing? How you doing? All right, so, okay, so next. Let's go to next. Um... Also, 
you know, I just say this. The the energy is also saying. Um, I don't know for some reason spirit was just saying this is a, also a month to um, watch your surroundings and protect yourself. Be aware of people trying to. Um, just be aware of people watching you and watch out for people that um, are very honest with you, like people that lie a lot. Keep your eyes on people that a lot that lie a lot around you. I don't know why spirit just said that. Yeah, that. be very careful. Be mindful of that family. Be very careful. That's part of the relationship aspect, y'all. Though, but at the end of the day, no, no. I guess you could be. It could be work. It could be. No, I'm talking about like people trying to set you up and stuff like that. Also. Okay, so y'all hear that? Be mindful. Watch your surroundings. Okay. Because a lot of people get money and a lot of people aren't getting money. So. Right. Watch your surroundings. <laughs> Be prepared. Watch your surroundings. Stop telling everybody your business too. Don't tell everybody your business. Everybody don't need to know what you got and how you're doing it and where you're going. Because you know a lot of people can block your blessings. You know that. Mm -hmm. So be very, very careful. Um, like uh, Brother Dinkman says, you got to be mindful. If you got money, don't talk about your money. Don't brag and stop showing your shit off on Facebook and Instagram and, uh, you know, you know, whatever, TikTok and showing off because you know what? People getting robbed. Okay? Yeah, I seen, I seen <laughs> speaking of that, I seen a, a rapper, on, a rapper, um, he had like 40000 in his pocket, his front pocket, his back pocket, and he was rapping. And then he went down and he went down in the crowd. And then when he came, <laughs> when he got out the crowd, he didn't have no money in his pockets or nothing. I mean, stuff like that happens. You know, you, if you got if you got it like that, you must mind, you must don't mind sharing, especially if you're dumb enough to go in a go crowd of people. Exactly, exactly. Weather. You did. Oh, you didn't do weather. I didn't do weather, okay. but y'all better know there's some voodoo weather coming down here real soon, y'all. Don't say I didn't tell you so. Now, it's going to be brutal to the point where you're going to need to get on Amazon or you're going to have to go to Home Depot or Walmart and get you a survival kit, okay? Because the storms that's coming through that I see are coming through with vengeance, hurricanes, tornadoes within hurricanes, okay? So, and it's coming down the East Coast, West Coast, North Coast, South Coast, whatever you want to call it, it's coming down. Weather is going to be fierce this year. Don't say I didn't tell you so. And it's because there has to be a cleansing, okay? What spirit and ancestors showed me, there has to be a major cleansing that takes place on this earth. And especially around where human beings are at. So I don't care if you're in California or Georgia. You will see some fierce weather coming through. There's going to be a lot, a lot of rain too. A lot of wind blowing rain. Cleansings, 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 okay? Um... They keep showing me something about Australia. I don't know if it's going to be a major uh, catastrophe that's going to happen in Australia. But I keep seeing something happen in Australia. They just show me Australia, okay? Um, but I will tell you, usually we say, okay, a lot of stuff coming down the East Coast. Now, uh, y'all, West Coast, prepare. East Coast, prepare. You know, I was just watching something on, um, I was just watching something on about Australia the other day. And they said they haven't. A major infestations of rats, and they don't know where all these rats are coming from. They're going to really? people's homes. Uh, they're all over, all over the country, just just going to people's homes. They're coming in their businesses. Just, um, just major infestation of rats, and they can't figure out where they're coming from. Well, I'm sad to tell you so, because they, there's something major going to happen in Australia. Now, also too, um, they keep showing me Japan. I don't know if there's going to be an earthquake, an earthquake or tsunami that's going to take place in Japan. Okay. But let's get back to the states, because the states needs to understand there's going to be a cleansing that takes place. There's going to be some more flooding in Texas this year, okay? I see some more flooding in Texas. I keep seeing, um, let me see, they're showing me New York and New Jersey. They're going to have some flooding too, which is not usually normal, but there's going to be some flooding. But Texas is going to flood again. So you got Texas, Mississippi, Louisiana, there's going to be some flooding this year, okay? Um, Arkansas, Arkansas, some tornadoes coming through Arkansas, okay? Um, what about Alabama? Alabama's going to get some flooding too. Yeah. Alabama, but something with Arizona. There's going to be a sighting that takes place in Arizona. Sad to tell you so. 
It's a little bit off the record, but Arizona, I keep seeing some type of fire tornado, like a sand tornado rising up in Arizona. They show me like a rising tornado in Arizona, and it's going to happen probably between July and August. There's going to be this tornado like fire, type of fire in Arizona, but there's also going to be a sighting, a uh, 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 alien sighting, okay? So, y'all watch out. Now, do, again, I'm going to say it again. Get your, your, uh, you know, um, what do you call it? Emergency kids. Emergency kids ready. <laughs> get them prepared. Get them ready. I almost couldn't think of it. Yeah, I couldn't think about it. And then, I'm going to tell y'all, go on Amazon and order some lights with batteries. Order a whole bunch of batteries. Order the light. Because some of these hurricanes coming through this year. Is getting ready to knock your lights out for about a week. Okay? Yeah. Don't side and tell yourself. So y'all get prepared for that. They coming. Cause and they, and they have to come because they have to be we have to cleanse. The earth has to be cleansed. Our trees are dying. The earth is drying up. That's why they're trying to block the sun, but they can't do that. They, they they're going against the natural order thing. They can't do that. So they really have to be mindful. You all have to be mindful that this has to take place. We're going to see a lot of water. A lot of water coming through. Also, invest in a blowboat. I got a blowboat. You're damn right. I got a blowboat. And you guess what? If it floods, guess who got a blowboat to kind of float around if I got to? I do. Okay? So, with saying that, family, um, do get prepared. Don't, don't slack. And I'm telling y'all, don't say I didn't tell y'all so. Do not slack with getting emergency kits, batteries, lights. They even sell, they sell, um, we got some of uh, 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 battery-operated fans because you know it's going to be hot. So just just get some, you some battery-operated fans too. They got them on um, Amazon. So do not slack, okay? So the weather this year is going to be a little bit crazy. What about Florida? Uh, Deborah, Florida too. Florida is going to have, you know, ah. Spirit just showed me another hurricane coming through Florida like Hurricane Andrew. Y'all better get ready. They kept showing me another hurricane coming through Florida like Hurricane Andrew. Mm. Wow. And it's preferably, preferably going to be like Southwest Florida. Yeah, y'all better prepare in Florida. Do get ready in Florida because they just showed me like, a, like another one just like Hurricane Andrew. Y'all remember Hurricane Andrew? Y'all look out for that. I don't know. I, I want to talk about something. Um, <sighs> black people, family, African people, African American, whatever you call yourself, Morris brothers, sisters, whatever. Uh, nah, um, <sighs> y'all have to. <clears throat> that could tie into that, but y'all, y'all have to really keep. Keep in mind, y'all have to really do start doing y'all due diligence and raising your kids the right way. Stay on them. I don't care if they're boys or girls. Always know what they're doing. Always know where they're at because <clears throat> they're starting to pass legislation that are going to lock these children up at the age of 10 for the rest of their lives. So y'all need to keep in mind and stay focused on raising your kids the right way. Because with all this gang stuff going on, it's kind of getting out of hand. You seen the other day, um, they went and shot up this club and uh, shot up this club. It's just like sense, senseless violence. You shooting into a crowd of people with automatic weapons and you killing innocent people. And for what? Now, the feds are going after the gangs now. They're going to start giving y'all, you see how they shut down the mob? That's what they're going to start giving y'all. These, these kids are going to start getting a hundred and something, 140 years, 200 years, like, like they did the mob. So y'all keep that in mind and, and, and just watch your children and stay on them and, and make sure that, you know, they know what to do when certain situations um, arise. But we got to stop this gang violence. We got to stay on the kids and keep them out of these gangs. Well, you see, to add or elaborate to what he's saying, we got to stop adopting the attitude that ain't none of my child. Mm -hmm. That means that sisters and brothers need to stand up 
as sisters and brothers need to be accountable for their community and their children in the community. Y'all remember, it's no different than Africa. It takes a village to raise a child. That saying went very well back in the 60s and the 50s, but nowadays, they don't give a goddamn. So we're saying that some of these kids, their parents may have been on drugs. Not all, but some of them. Some of them fathers wasn't around. So what are we going to do in the community? We need to step up as the mothers and fathers and the elders of the community and make sure that we put it out there. You know what I mean? We start talking to these young kids and these young women, okay? Because some of them don't have fathers. Some of them mothers or fathers might have been drugs, alcohol, whatever it may be, on crack or whatever it may be, and they don't care. And they don't care for the simple fact that, you know, it's like, my mother didn't care about me, my father didn't care about me, so, so guess what? You know what? I don't care. I don't care. I don't care if I kill this man. I don't care if I kill that man. They have this mentality that is really bad and it's sad. And what he's saying, you know, we seen a video to the day of this woman who had 500 surgeries on a little girl she adopted from Africa. Mm -hmm. And they're just now finding out that this woman was using this black child as a guinea pig. And it pissed him off, it pissed me off, it made me angry. And the, and the thing about that is, is, you know, they... They give these people our children that have money because they have money. And they may need the money. But the sad thing is, this kid had over 500 med medical procedures. Now, sometimes a procedure could just be her going to the doctor and looking at her or whatever. But the sad thing is, she had a tube for, like permanently put down her throat to feed her, right? Uh -huh. And she, the doctor said she didn't even need it. But she went to the, she had 500 procedures on this little child. The child is only six years old. So my thing is, why did it take 500 procedures before the doctors, for, before one doctor said, you know what, this isn't right? Because it's about the money. But it shouldn't be. It's are you, are you well, telling me only that. only one doctor had had the moral compass to say no, this isn't right. But she there was had the little girl's ancestors that made that happen. You know that. And at the end of the day, it's about the money for them. See, they just show you where they at. They don't give a goddamn about you, your child, or nobody else. At the end of the day, that was her ancestors that alerted that doctor to put it out there. And it's sad. But what's even more sad is stop going over to Africa and adopting. And my African sisters and brothers, stop adopting out your kids to these white folks that don't care about them. Because if they cared about them, they wouldn't be doing the shit that they do. Look at Madonna's son. Somebody asked me about that the other day on Twitter. He walking around with a dress on. You know what I'm saying? Handsome young man. Walking around like a little girl. They do all our children like that they adopt. But on the flip side of that, y'all, the problem I got is that we don't adopt more. I went to a class to adopt. I had two children, and it was actually my nephew and niece that I adopted. However, when I was in class, there was no black folks in there. No black folks adopting children. So now they feel like, okay, well, y'all ain't adopting. We're going to adopt them. We're going to do what we want to do with y'all children. We're going to do experiments on them. Uh, everything they want to do. We're going to abuse them. All kind of stuff. And I, from what we understand, Tiffany, they did, she did get charged. But now she needs to get charged. And this is where the spiritual people come in. Enough is enough. Can't keep using our kids and using us as guinea pig. We're less than a human being. You treat us anyway. That little girl was so cute, and then you let her go through these procedures because you selfish, because you felt like you wanted to get money, and you down with the. Me I think they was all in cahoots together. Mm -hmm. But ancestors ain't sleeping. Remember what we said? Karma's a bitch. Karma's a bitch, and let me tell you, Karma's coming back to that woman as quick as she can blink her eye. And what the hell y'all going over there adopting black children? What's your real agenda? That's my question. What's your real agenda? Why you don't go? Because you know they got a lot of lot of um uh kids in in Europe that need adopting too. That are in uh what do you call those type of homes? Foster homes. Now foster, foster homes are there. You know when in Europe they call them those little. Uh, I know what you're talking about. Like, that, with the nuns and yeah, stuff. Yeah, with the covenants, the yeah. covenants, whatever they call them. Now, go over there. Why y'all want to adopt our African children? Why y'all over your asses over in Africa? 
They got a lot of kids that need parents over in Europe and Germany and France. They're in homes just like the ones, you know what I mean? In Africa, why do you feel the need to go over and adopt one of our African children? 